So, hello guys. Last time I posted a video about a microwave oven welder. It was quite many years ago. So, like now, finally, I can answer the question is it worthwhile building this device, which is just these transformers rewired? And the answer is yes. It, it has proven a exceptionally useful machine for me. I've repaired several bicycles by now, uh, welded their frames, uh, both uh, stainless steel and uh, carbon uh, steel. And I've also mm, welded uh, the railings for a whole sailboat and actually the mast step for a sailboat, all stainless steel welding. And it has been exceptionally useful uh, for its cost. I mean, and and stuff such as this, I welded, and I mean, many things, many things. And I've actually earned money with this welder by now. So, if you if you like building things and know how where to find these uh, transformers, then sure, go ahead, build it. It's definitely worth it. And I'll, next, I'll show you uh, how it welds. So, I'm going to weld uh, this little piece of uh, steel, carbon steel, to this angle, angle bar here. And I'm going to be using for this weld a 2.5 millimeter electrode. So here's the weld, straight after welding, take off the slag now, let's see what's So, as you see, it's actually rather good. A perfectly good lap joint, actually. Which, by the looks of it, has gone both into the base metal and the piece itself. And relatively little splatter. And this is very good considering that I have no uh, way of, of regulating the current, the welding current. So 2.5 uh, seems rather, 2.5 millimeter electrode th thickness seems uh, rather optimal here. And I have uh, really an overkill of fans here. There's a fan for tra Transformer 1, there's a fan for Transformer 2 and these both suck air into the case, this one and this one, down here. And then I have two fans which suck air out 
one is back here and one is on the lid here and I'll just show how this works I have a separate button for the fans right now I've added a soft start circuit because the thing it blew uh, circuit breaker I mean and uh, here we go that's how it works so I have an old Soviet Union relay and a negative uh, NTC okay yeah down there and here is the little timer of course based on a 555 which just which uh, just uh, decouples the NTC from the circuit via this big massive Soviet relay and this 